All right, I'm the flat rate master, and well, let's shed a little light on the situation. And in case you can't tell, I'm talking about the Milwaukee Red Lithium USB 400L neck light, 400 lumens. Let's talk about it. All right, so it's a neck light. It has variable swiveling heads. It has two intensities, and it is USB-C charging. Thank you, Milwaukee. Now, unlike some other neck lights on the market, now we all know I hate headlamps, hate them, don't like them. Talked about that before. Neck lights are, in, for me, a better solution than a headlamp. I just, I can't stand them. Now this uses the USB 3.0 lithium battery that is replaceable. Clamps in this back. Now that is one kind of drawback to it. It is kind of, you know, back heavy because of the battery. Now one thing about this that is the exact same as this one from Matco is it clamps on your neck pretty tight. Depending on your neck size, it might be uncomfortable to, well, strangling to just fine. Again, replaceable battery, and it uses the exact same battery that this light uses. And I love this light. And if you get this with the base, it can be charged on that charger dock as well. So you can put the battery right there, you can charge it up, you can get spare batteries, and you can charge it. Now that is one of the things I want to talk about. Because this Matco light, I don't use it very often, but every time I go to use it, it's dead. Now the other thing I don't like about the Matco is separate buttons. And obviously separate charging. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> this is all integral one charging port or one battery, and it all links together. So you only have one control and both lights come on. You can swivel them, obviously, whichever direction you know is useful. So I think practically, this is a better light overall than the one from Matco. A lot of the similar ones out there are you know, like this. It's you've got two separate chargers and kind of a pain to charge. And if they're like this one, Sorry, Robbie, but every time I go to grab it, it is dead. I charge it, I leave it, I go to use it again, it's dead. This one, well, you just swap the battery. You got a spare battery. Now, obviously, you got to have a charger to charge it, but overall, I think this is a much better execution of a neck light. Now, like I said, the, the kind of drawback is the weight on the back, but I haven't found it to be actually a problem. It, it, they stay where I put them, you know, unless you're, you know, doing something with a collar that moves them. Generally, they pretty much stay where you put them, where you point them. You know, they don't tend to move on your neck. Again, it's pretty tight, which, like I said, can be irritating. Now, they don't have any sort of, you know, anything other than rubber, so you may get a rash, just FYI. I haven't gotten a rash. You may, you may want to put some Tessa tape or something like that, that on there or something else to just, you know, soak up some sweat. Because, you know, if you're a fat boy like me, you're going to sweat a little bit. I personally think it's the best execution I've tested, which has only been two. So <laughs> take that with what it is. So as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rain Master.